All right, so today I'm going to be doing a bit of work on this Squire Classic Vibe Jaguar. If you haven't already seen the review videos, I'll put them in the corner of the screen now. Um, it comes fitted with nine gauge strings, brand new. Um, and this high E string hasn't got enough tension on it. Um, I've set the action, but it's still wobbling about there and it just doesn't sound right. And it's not catching on the, you know, the, the, the lip of the bridge behind because that's ringing clear. So there's something not right with that. Um, I may need to file the groove out a little bit, but we'll see. Um, I've only got, the only 10s I've got at the minute, these Dear Dario half rounds. So we'll give them a well. I haven't tried these before. Um, these are around £10.50. So a little bit more expensive than your standard um, 10 gauge. EXL Deodarios, so we'll give them a go. Um, also, while I've got the strings off, I'm going to take the bridge up. I'm going to put some electrical tape around the pole pieces just to stop it floating. As you can see, it moves about a bit. Um, this helps with tuning. The idea of this bridge is when you use the vibrato arm, the bridge moves with the strings. The only trouble is when you bend down and then come back it doesn't always move back to the original position um, which knocks the guitar out of tune so I found I've done it on plenty of these before on Jazz Masters and Mustangs that if you stick a bit of electrical tape round locks that into position it's still the vibrato still works well but you know it just helps with the tuning um, so we're going to get them strings off also um, I'm thinking of modding this guitar at some point. I'm not sure where I'm going to go to the Cobain route. I've also had a couple of people mention about Johnny Mars Jaguar. So um, I've got a couple of pick guards. I'm quite happy with a Torx pick guard, but if anybody wants to see these on, if I go for humbuckers, I've got a humbucking pick guard. I've got no problems with cutting this out, but you know, we'll see. We'll line them up. I've got a mint green one, and I've got a, um, a perloid sort of vintage white pick guard so let me know what you think to them i may not put them on today but you know we'll have a look anyway so first thing i'm going to do is take off these old strings and um i'll be back okay so that's the strings off um what i'm going to do is i just want to have a quick look under this pick guard and um a few people have asked me about how it's rooted underneath the class the vintage modifieds were single call routed so I'm presuming these are the same but we'll whip that off and have a quick look anyway oh. there we go. okay so yeah it's uh routed for two single call pickups and there's no shielding on the back of that so let's quickly wipe this down Actually, while I'm here, I'll just line up this green guard, see if it does actually fit. Yeah. Just a little tweaking. It's quite well off. Needs a bit of routing on the, um, just around the neck to make it line up. It ain't far off. Probably need to unscrew that, move it off a little bit, but yeah. So that's it with a mint green guard. And a perloid, obviously route with the humbuckers but if you want to have a quick look so let me know what you think of that anyway what we'll do um oh actually while i'm here i'll take this control panel off just want to quickly see what pots they use on these they're vintage modified i believe at the alpha pots the little ones so just check yeah it's got the little alpha pots they are one meg and a tiny little cap in there. Let me zoom in a bit. There you go. So these will definitely be getting changed out at some point and along with that cap. And also I'll stick a Switchcraft uh, jack in there. I won't be doing that today, but just so you know, they come in little alpha pots. So what we'll do now, so I'll quickly put that back on. Get rid of some of this sawdust. 
Um, if I was going to mod this to a sort of Cobain spec, uh, Cobain's one had three um, controls, a uh, master volume for each pickup and a tone control. And I believe what they did was just drill a hole in that panel and stick the um, tone controls in. So I just want to get rid of this um, plastic film. So I'm going to take these off. I've got the right Allen wrench. That one. So on the back of them, there's a little, little uh, screw for a Allen wrench. So we'll get them off. Move them out of the way. Okay, so that's off. And I've also got in my stash a couple of these uh, Telecaster style tone controls. I think we'll go with them. Give it a bit more of a Cobain Jag look. So yeah, they look pretty sweet. So I want to stick a second volume pot in. I just have to drill a hole in there and obviously they'll all line up. So I'm just going to screw this all back together now and then we'll get to work on the bridge. Actually, before I put that on, I'll take this plastic film off as well. Oh. There you go. Shiny. So originally Jaguars and um, the vintage modified one came with these old style bridges with the saddles just have the little lines on them and you used to get a lot of string slippage. So on the newer classic vibe models uh, they've put on these Mustang style ones with a, uh, a barrel saddle so just the one string slot. But, um, yeah, it's looking at that high E string, it's definitely slotted okay. So hopefully a thicker gauge of strings will help. So what I'm gonna do is what I was talking about earlier, these pole pieces, they sit in these little cavities there and they wiggle around. So what you need to do is wrap enough electrical tape around just so it sits in there nice and snug. So I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so I've got that on now. I should hold it in place a, a bit better. So that's a nice tight fit now, that ain't going nowhere. So what I'll do now is I'll put these strings on. All right, so this has got the vintage style tuners with the split shafts. So what you do with these, run the string for the tail piece, pull it out straight. And then uh, if you're going into like, say the first one, what I'll do is pull the string out and I'll count two peg pieces across. I'll cut it there, slide it down and then wrap it around and tighten it up and that locks them into place and it yeah that's how you sort of do the vintage style tuners they're pretty easy so we'll crack on with that these are the half rounds so they're still um yeah they're still pretty similar to sort of standard strings so we'll give them a go definitely feel a lot a bit smoother um i think they've got some sort of coating on them but We'll give them a go. Okay, so I've got the strings on. Um, I was having a bit of trouble. I don't know if you can hear that. It was happening on the bottom two strings. Sounds a bit like a sitar. So I checked all the, you know, make sure the strings weren't touching the bridge and the saddles were sitting all right, but it was actually the um, the way the nuts been filed down. So. I've I've got a little file there, so you can see that. Probably not picking up on camera. So I just quickly took the strings off, just give it a little scrape through, get rid of the any gnarly bits. And uh, where the nut sits flush and the strings go through and then sort of down and just sort of smooth that little bit off as well. I haven't taken a lot of, a lot of uh, you know material off, just enough just to make it a bit smoother. So, so it's definitely stopped on that. So you can do the high E string. Uh, should be the right size. Again, not taking a lot off, just sort of smoothing it out a little bit. Hope we can sort that out. Still a little bit there. But I'm also still getting that wiggling 
um, saddle. So it may need stronger springs in the um, in the behind the saddle there on intonation screws. So I'm take a little bit more of this out. But it's a very rough surface on these um, where these nuts have been filed out. Still a little bit. But I'll keep persevering with that. So I find a sweet spot. And uh, we're good, but in terms of the saddles, that's better. Still slightly apparent on the high, but I'll do a bit more of that. Um, yeah, in terms of these saddles, uh, the springs don't have a lot of tension in them. I think you need to, I think you need to change these springs. So stock bridge on a classic vibe Jag. Um, Still not as good as like a mastery bridge or you know something like that. So maybe worth thinking about if you want to spend the money getting a, a mastery bridge or something similar, or you may want to try and change the um, the springs in there just to give it more tension. Because it's still let me zoom that in. Still wiggling around a lot there, and even the other ones sort of do as well. So yeah. Especially with tens on, you 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 think that would be pretty much locked down. So it's not enough brake angle. If I remember rightly, the vibratos on the um, on the fenders, I think they're pretty. They're a little bit closer to the bridge, which obviously increases the brake angle. So maybe that's another could be another issue. But there's no real way. Of getting more tension on it that I can think of. So if anybody's got any suggestions, let me know. But um, yeah, I think the only way around that is either stick a different bridge on or upgrade the springs. Right, so I'm just going to finish setting all this up now. Um, set the action. I'm going to set the intonation. Obviously, if you want to know how to do all that, I've done it in videos before. But yeah, pretty much the same thing. But I'm liking these Telecaster style volume tone knobs. So yeah, I'm just going to try and finish off this nut, tune it all up, and then we'll have a little play, see what these new strings sound like. Okay, so we've got the half round Diodario EHR 3110s on. These are 10 to 46. So I was hoping to um, sort of lock down that um, high string, the saddle was wobbling a bit, but it's still doing it. So um, yeah, we'll go as it is. I've set the action, string high, intonation, and what have you. So, I'm just going to give you a little demo of what it sounds like. Um, I'm going to play on the looper pedal. Just I'm going to play in the middle position, so both the pickups on. Just give you an idea of what it sounds like. Um, I'll hit record and just do a little bit of lead over over the top. I'm just going to play clean, so you can hear what these sound like. They do sound a bit heavier than normal strings, um, and they're a lot smoother as well, being half round, so you get less of that uh, sort of finger scraping sound but um yeah here we go Dear Dario half rounds 10 to 46 EHR 310s. Um, I quite like them, they've got a nice dark sound to them, which sort of suits the Jaguar, in my opinion. Um, and they're nice and smooth. They have got an oily coating on them, so they do need a bit of a, a clean up. 
Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice to play with. Let me know what you think to the sound of them. Um, the bridge on these, if you've got a classic vibe, Squire, Jaguar, or you're about to buy one, it's going to need a bit of work. I've never noticed it as much on the Mustang. There might, might have been a bit more um, uh, sort of brake angle to pin the uh, barrels down a bit more. But on the Jaguar, it's probably going to be the same on the Jazzmaster as well. You're definitely getting a lot of wiggling around. So I reckon the next thing to probably do is change the springs, put some um, higher tension springs in just to hold them in a place or worst case, you know, spend some money, get a sort of mastery bridge or something along them lines. So, you know, but yeah, it is what it is. The bone nut also need a little bit of filing down. It's sounding better now. Still a little bit of ringing, so I'll have to fine tweak it. But, you know, for a 340 pound guitar, it's going to need a few little tweaks. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and... Um, hit the notification bell and make sure you set all the notifications to all so you stay up to date on all the latest videos. You can also check me out on uh, Instagram and Facebook, The Guitar Manifesto. So yeah, that's about it for today. So thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace.